I saw Lady Bird on Thursday, December 21st, 2017, in Escondido, California. And I was interested in seeing it because, well, it's about my hometown, Sacramento. It was based in Sac, uh, the story, the characters, and um, it was even filmed in Sac. And um, it seemed to be a movie that had a lot of buzz on it. And uh, it's up for several indie awards. Um, so I just wanted to check it out. And that made it the first movie I've seen all decade at a theater. So, yeah, I stopped going after a while. After I saw a bunch of duds in a row, I said, man, this isn't uh, my hobby. <laughs> Watching a bunch of bum trip movies, but... I would say that for indie films, I look at much differently than Hollywood films. So um, indie, I have a lot more respect for because it, you know, involves limited resources and it just is more of a long shot that it's going to get recognition. So I've been impressed that... Lady Bird has gotten lots of recognition and is up for several awards. Um, and the fact that it's out of Sacramento, you know, you don't hear about movies coming out of Sacramento too often, although I, I did some research and found that it does, Sacramento does have a movie history going back to the beginning of films. So anyway, Lady Bird is probably... Um, uh, it, it deserves all the uh, attention it gets it, just by being an indie film that's gone this far. The acting was very good. I would say that um, the screenplay was well written. Um, it reminds me of other movies of the past uh, where you have a nagging mother and a carefree daughter clashing in a generation gap. I mean, those kind of movies seem, uh, seems like there were a bunch of those in the 80s. Um, so that wasn't a new storyline to me. Um, the way it painted Sacramento as a very bummed out place kind of bummed me out a little bit. Although I don't want to give away the, the whole theme of the movie, but um, there is a certain point in the movie where it almost has that Wizard of Oz feel of there's no place like home uh, where the star, you know, starts to reflect on her hometown. She, like, is like 18 years old uh, and graduating from high school. She goes to a Catholic high school where it's very um, rule-oriented. And uh, the movie makes that very clear, how she's very um, uh, unhappy at that place. And that she wants to break free from her home life and her um, school life. And she wants to go to school back east. And it just seems like there are several points in the movie where they just make Sacramento seem like some bummed out, old, midwestern... Uh, almost hillbilly type place. I mean, they they talk about the fabulous fabulous forties. Um, those homes, you know, in the uh, midtown area that are very really, very expensive, and they associate that with Reagan and Republicans, and um, and I guess that's true. But it, it seemed like the movie was either talking about that. Like the rich neighborhoods, the rich old, like a Victorian looking neighborhoods, or the um, regular part of Sacramento that, uh, you know, isn't Hollywood. <laughs> anyway, I wish they could have been, the movie could have had a nicer tone about Sacramento, as Sacramento is rarely mentioned in movies. I mean, one that comes to mind is Invasion of the Body Snatchers. 
and in the movie, the 50s movie, uh, Sacramento was one of the last places that hadn't been invaded yet. And that's where they were escaping. <laughs> oh, but normally, I mean, I think of Sacramento not as some, uh, some place where the, everything's restricted. I think of it more as a, uh, a natural beauty type place with two rivers and lots of parks. And it's a very green city for me. So even though I thought it was a good movie, you know, Lady Bird uh, was well put together. Um, it would have been nicer if they had said nicer things about Sacramento.